Enter a small seaside town in Greece, where you'll find that the villagers have some kind of appreciation for the god of wine himself, Dionysus. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at Dionysus, created by Sergio, a builder in this community, and here they say, Hello, joining your community with my very first creation. This coaster scenery is heavily inspired by the Mediterranean coast. If you've never been there, you should, with some Greek touches here and there, and a lot of wine. Took me a lot of hours, but also learned a lot while doing it. It has a few blueprints, but I'd say 99% percent of it is mine hope the music is not copyrighted because it's synced with the ride and adds a lot of experience what do you mean you hope what do you mean you hope didn't you test it just an fyi guys if uh if you're oh well, apparently um it's not loaded up i did download any additional music oh wait <laughs> that's hilarious they didn't submit their uh music so if you do make custom music, you have to upload that to the workshop and uh, give a play give people a way to download it. So this is your first creation, and I guess the creator assumed that if they attach music to a coaster when they upload it to the workshop, it will automatically upload that music. That is not the case. You have to upload that separately to a Google Drive and provide a link. So unfortunately, we won't have your music, but hopefully I can find something suitable. All right, let's uh, jump in and take a closer look. Oh, what I was going to say, by the way, welcome everybody. <laughs> this park looks phenomenal, by the way. This Mediterranean Greek style park. I think it looks captivating. It's the reason I picked it out here today. There's ambience, um, little birds chirping, all sorts of great ambience. We have music. So it's great. It's looking phenomenal. Really, really beautiful build here. But what I was going to say is, if you guys want to test your music and see if it's royalty free or copyright free, upload it to your YouTube channel. It's easy to create a YouTube channel, just make one and then upload the music and see if you get flagged. And then you know. Wow, look at this, this is beautiful. So, I may not live in Greece, I may not live in the Mediterranean, but I live next to Dozens upon dozens of vineyards So I see like some interesting build styles like this and environments like this all around my house and Boy oh boy. This is done to the next level. This is exceptional Theme park quality. So shout out to Sergio. I think you've done an amazing job with this. This is looking so gorgeous for a singular coaster spotlight, this is exactly what I love to see. Vibrant colors, beautiful foliage, great views. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's go head up the queue. We got guests in the park here today. The sun is out. It's vibing here. The queue will take us through this little winery. Very cool. Uh, whatever song you have throughout the speakers everywhere in this park, maybe that's uh, what I can put on the coaster. I'm assuming it's World's Fair Greece. I'm not entirely sure. Very cute boarding station as well. I'll get all the wine barrels. Very cool. Let's take a look at the uh, Dionysus. Is that how you say it? I, I, I looked up a robot. A robot told me how to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> Dionysus. So what do we have here? World's Fair. Oh, we don't have uh, Greece. I guess Spain might work. We'll do Spain. So coaster stats. Green across the board. 1.3 kilometers in length. 62 miles per hour. 30 meters is the biggest drop. Five inversions. Four airtime counts. Looking great. Let's start things off with a... Whoa! A... Uh, track view experience that coaster track and uh, hopefully there's some nighttime lighting because this park looks like it would be beautiful at night let's go
absolutely incredible. Good googly moogly. Look at this lighting. Super captivating, isn't it? Hey, and I got a little bit better on my orbit view for daytime. <laughs> no, I love this nighttime lighting. Very warm, very inviting. Coaster was great. I love everything about this. Sergio knocked it out of the park for a builder. I mean, look, look at the aesthetics of these vineyards, the Greek theming, uh, great little mini park. This whole thing is just captivating. I love it. I love everything about it. It's phenomenal. It caught my attention. It caught my eye. This is how you do a, a coaster spotlight, in my opinion. Lots of really cool, intricate builds, nice path work, great little exploration for the guests, for us to go around and explore. I guess the only thing it needs is a few shops and stuff around. Um, I guess there's like a bathroom and a photo booth. I think that's about it though. Um, some seating areas, but pretty darn good. It has a, an immersive feel to it. I feel like I went to a park spotlight and if you keep it up, like you can definitely take this and run it through and make a park to this style, Sergio. I think you, you've definitely hit the aesthetics of making really beautiful scenes. Coaster was really fun as well. Love all the custom supports on there. You got this little Greek village in the background. All of it is looking just great. Really, really fun coaster spotlight for me here today. Also, uh, I, I recognize the name Sergio. I don't know if they competed in a contest or what. Let me quickly look at their workshop just to double check here. Mr. Sergio. No, this is the only thing they've ever built. I feel maybe maybe they're just on Discord and I've seen their name on Discord, but um, definitely a great build here for today from Sergio. Their only thing on their workshop ever. So come back to Planet Coaster Sergio. You did a great job with your very first ever creation. Even though sometimes these things take a while to get to the YouTube channel, you should keep on building and not just stop and wait for the spotlight. Because if you had something else on your workshop, I would have definitely pulled it up and featured that as well. Uh, when I recognize a good builder and a fun creation, I will di dive a little bit deeper and continue to grab more of their creations. And if you just build one thing and stop there and hope for me uh, and hope and wait, by the time I get my hands on it, I'm ready for the sequel. But maybe Sergio sees this video, comes back to Planet Coaster and builds something awesome. Nonetheless, it was a great experience for me here today and I was happy to share it with everybody so hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did if you did let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and that is going to do it for us in today's episode of coaster spotlight thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day bye now <laughs>